So what's up, cigar lovers? So I am uh, sitting here, going to fire up the new Burger Ar and Argente, the Mooch. Uh, this one comes from that variety, uh, big variety box they make. Uh, the Mooch, um, and this is actually the Snore, little little Robusto-esque. Um, my buddy James was smoking it today, said uh, it, reminded him, it reminded him of a Liga. Bold statement, bold statement. You'll hear me say league a lot because you know you got to set the the bar you know somewhere, and I set it relatively high. But uh, I got the uh, burger and argente mooch. Um, definitely a cool presentation. The box, huge fucking box, wired shut, really cool. You know, Mike uh, Burger does uh, does one hell of a job. Um, the guys at Burger and Argente, I should say, do one hell of a job of packaging and presentation, which you know with a lot of uh, retail shops that is. That's bonus packaging is, you know, catch the eye, buy the smoke. But definitely um, the Entebar was the uh, last cigar I really smoked from him. That's fucking nuts. That's a great cigar. But, uh, yeah, I guess it's Rub Robusto-esque in size. Um, I'm a punch guy. So I'm give it a little punch. I've been sucking on the end just to give it a little moisten. The guys um, really went pretty fucking nuts over it today. They just got in today. I was playing hooky from uh, my day job. I, I got to intercept the, uh, the order. So, so far, a punch actually gives it a good draw. Get a little fire up in this beast. Throw that in the trash where I missed the trash. A little fire up in this bad Larry and uh, give you a proper review on the, uh, the Mooch Snore. So, all right. Um, first off, let me uh, apologize for the introduction. Didn't know my fucking head was cut off. Um, but I sm smoke so many fucking good cigars. You guys have envy. You want to cut my fucking head off anyway, so deal with it. Um, all right, so I'm a few puffs into my uh, my Burger and Argente, the uh, Mooch. The Mooch! I got to say, I'm fucking I'm pleased. Definitely think this is a cigar that um, we can turn some guys on to. Uh, you know, this size is uh, under $7 price point, which is huge. I mean, it's big with Burger and Argente. They put out some really great cigars uh, at a decent price point, which is huge. It's real big, especially with the economy right now and the way guys are buying smokes. I mean, you still, you know, spend the money on your good cigars that you know are great cigars. But, you know, when, you're, when your wallet's a little tight, I mean, you've got home runs like, you know, the, like, the, like the Mooches. And, you know, I believe it's four or five different varieties. Off the top of my head, I don't remember the name of the varieties, but there are a few. But if you look at it, it's got a nice... Uh, Great white ash, uh, excellent, excellent, uh, excellent look. Draw is phenomenal. Um, I'm gonna see how long I can hold on to the ash for. I have a tendency to flick my ash off early. Um, not a huge ash man, more of a tit man myself, but we won't get into that. Definitely quality smoke. Um, see the ash is flaking a little bit, so I don't think it's gonna hold long, but. Um, yeah, a um, little pepper, a little pepper. It's starting to even out. Um, I would put this in the um, as the Maduro uh, medium-bodied cigar. Um, real good flavor. I'm, I'm, I'm pleased. I'll be honest with you. Um, you know, you look for the go-to uh, cigars when you don't have your normal uh, fix around. But uh, yeah, medium. I can I can see it getting a little heavier, but um, absolutely a fan. Absolutely a fan. All right. Um, Well, like I predicted, uh, it started to flake and the ash plopped right off, so it really didn't hold that great of an ash. But uh, so far, the flavor is good. It's um, excuse me, it's a little um, a little stronger than mild. Uh, definitely great smoke. I'm really enjoying the shit out of it, to be very honest with you. Um, one of the guys who really ranted and raved about the cigar said, "Hey, man, I, you got to try the cigars." My buddy James, James Holtzizer, uh, at the shop, we take his opinion very heavily. Um, he is a uh, guy who likes to smoke a good, good cigar, so what I want to do is I'm going to get this motherfucker on the phone and we're going to talk about it for a minute. Uh, hopefully you can hear it. Um, if not, I'm going to be talking to my fucking self. Deal with it. Chances are he's sitting on his deck right now smoking a cigar, chilling out with his new puppy. We'll see.
Hopefully you can hear it. Smokes quick, too. It's, it's good smoke. Oh, doesn't look like we're going to get James on the phone. Hi, you've reached James Holzheiser. I'm not available to take your call right now. Please leave your name and number where you can be reached in a brief message. I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. To send a fax, press 4 now. To leave a callback number, press 5. Yo, James Holtzheiser, John Henderson, what's going on, brother? So I'm sitting here doing a, <clears throat> my video review of the Burger and Argente um, Mooch, the snore. I uh, figured I would uh, hop on the horn with you and uh, bullshit about the cigar while uh, I'm doing my review. You know, you give me your uh, give me your put on it via, via the phone, so I figured you're playing with your new puppy. Um, that's actually not actually slang for James jerking off or anything. He's actually got a new puppy he's playing with. But um, yeah, so uh, give me a call back when you get the message. Um, I'm uh, really digging this cigar, brother. I will talk at you shortly. So James didn't answer his phone, but I can almost uh, guarantee that sometime in the next uh, couple minutes, James will uh, be returning our phone call and uh, we'll get his take on this uh, this excellent cigar. Call ID. Oh, that's my man James. I told you we were going to call back. Yo, brother, what's a good word? Hey, man, I saw I just missed your call. What's up, bro? Dude, so I'm, uh, I'm smoking this fucking, uh, this new Entebar. Dude, oh, the... Oh, man, what a stick, what a stick. Dude, the hooch, the... I grabbed the, uh, Robusto size, the snore, man. I can feel changes, bro. It's good. It's solid smoke. Yeah, I, you know what? I had the, uh, I had the one that Michael sent up for us to test, and then I had the, uh, one of them today because they just came in the shop. Yeah. And uh, let me tell you, man, I had forgotten what uh, what what complexity was until I relit one today and uh, hit hit with some pepper, you know, and then sort of opens up into some spice and then flattens right out into almost like you know that that cool, smooth Maduro, uh, you know, long, uh, powerful, but but but. You know, uh, you know, flat type uh, flavors. You know, I, I really like it. It just it just streamlines right out to the end. Dude, so so I'm thinking I'm de I'm definitely tasting. It's a little stronger than mild, but not completely full. Right is what I'm getting from it. Um, the Maduro the Maduro taste. I agree with you 100. percent It's blazing. It's a great taste. Um, yeah, yeah, but it, but it comes like after the first quarter. Yeah, so you know? the only thing I don't like about it is it probably took me about 30 minutes to smoke. And, you know, I'm sitting in the office, I'm working, I'm doing my thing, you know, doing my uh, cigar review for the folks here. And Brother James, I told you, he, he, he reached back out to us. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's, you know, I'm pleased. It's definitely, it's no Liga. I'm going to, I can't give it that. I can't give it that. But for the fucking price point, being a $7 cigar. You know, having the flavor that it does, and it's and it's still oily, which is nice. I mean, we don't like to smoke fucking um, dry cigars. At the end of the day, nobody likes to smoke a fucking dry cigar. And you know what's wild about it? We sat with with, with, with Mark Michael Argente in in Nicaragua on actually a visit to Drew State, and he opened up the entire world of what he's up to to us. He didn't have to do that. Yeah, but which was I, really cool. You know what was cool, though? And I think out of all the cigar guys we've met and all the other manufacturers, I mean, we'll put Jonathan Drew aside because, you know, we've got a special relationship with the guys at Drew Estates, but he knows more about cigars than any motherfucker I've ever talked to. I mean, that guy... I agree. It was, agree. It was dizzying, I mean, some of the shit that was coming out of this guy's mouth. Dude, you know, remember on the Seinfeld, the Soup Nazi? Yep. He's like the fucking cigar design Nazi. Yeah, no. He's I, like, no yeah. cigar for you. <laughs> you know? <laughs> but yeah, I mean, so definitely, um, I grabbed the snore of um, of the uh, of the of the cigar. I grabbed the, the robusto size because um, you know that'll be my that's my go-to size when I'm you know sitting here doing my thing. But um, I would have liked to smoked it a little longer, so I, I grabbed a couple of them because dude, they're blowing out, man. They're blowing out. That one smaller size is completely gone already. The presentation. You know, from the box to the to the wrapper on the end to the whole point. Have you noticed how outstanding the presentation is with the Burger Argentes? Oh, I think I think their packaging and marketing 
and what attracts you to pick up their cigar is above and beyond almost everybody. It is. You it's, know? it's, you know, Nesta it's... Miranda, Nesta Miranda's really good at it. Um, you know, uh, the Rocky Patel guys are good at it. Drew Estates guys blow people away with their stuff. But this guy, man, Bergen, Bergen Argente, they, everything they do, look at that, look at that warning label they put on the, on, on the entry bar, man. Yeah, I mean, that's, well, he, that. that's got, that's made for guys like that. That's like, don't smoke this, fuck, I'm gonna smoke this, you know? That's yeah. exactly what it says. It's that's like this is a line of death. Cross it and die. Okay, no, this is a line of death. Cross it and die. You know what I'm saying? I get it, man. Exactly. Yeah, I'm a you fan. Pick it up, you think it's a stick of dynamite? Yeah. Like afraid the light is yeah. you know? Well, I like the fact because so many manufacturers make pretty boxes and pretty fucking uh, and pretty bands, but then you smoke the cigar and you go, oh yeah, great. A sizzle was good, but the steak sucked. Now this is, yep. you know, it's got the fucking sizzle and then it's got the flavor in the steak, man. It's I think that's the but best analogy. Well natural, he uses natural old world, like like earth tones and old recycled paper, and you get something and you feel like it. You just popped open a crate of cigars that somebody hid that they smuggled over, mm -hmm. and and you found them in a warehouse. Yeah. So that's what I think about what they did. You know, and and it's cool because I mean, and they stick. With, what's what's cool is like the brick and mortar. And we talked about how when we were in uh, Nicaragua, how you know he's very particular where it goes. And I mean, think about it. Right now, we're probably one of the only places in South Jersey, if not central in South Jersey, that you can pick up the burger in Argente. I agree. You know, so it's it's it's. I'm pleased. I'm, I mean, when I got it, you know, I was playing playing a little bit of hooky, working out of the shop today, running to meetings, and it came in, and I was like, oh shit, I forgot that uh, Jerry ordered this box, and it was on back yeah. order, and it popped open, and I sent you that picture of it. I was like, dude, nice. Dude, I beat it down to the shop because I had shit I was doing. I couldn't even get there today, but I beat it in before they were gone. Yeah. You know what I mean? I got myself a a, a, a handful. Yeah. How's that puppy? Speak. She's, uh, she, she's doing good. Yeah, she's speaking of handfuls, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's running me ragged, brother. Cool, man. Well, brother, thanks for calling in. Uh, I'll give you a shout sometime in the next day or two, but uh, yeah, man, I'll touch base. All right. All right, later, Gator. Right, keep, 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 keep the lit side up, brother. Yeah, man. All right. So uh, I'm just finishing up my uh, Burger and Argente uh, mooch snoring. Let me tell you something. Jesus Christ, this is a good cigar. It'll change you. It's like I saw Jesus. Um, but yeah, so they're at the box. Uh, you got two great reviews, myself and my man James. Uh, really are digging the uh, Burger and Argente uh, mooch. Stop by the box. Uh, I don't think you'll. Uh, I don't think you'll hate it. I think you'll love it. Um, and uh, we got them. So uh, again, Burger and Argente, fucking great flavor. Uh, not quite a medium, a little on the um, a little on the heavier side, but uh, definitely a great transition for a guy who normally smokes a medium-bodied cigar and uh, wants to step it up a little bit. Uh, Burger and Argente, brothers, um, the snore it is a uh, it's a fucking great cigar. Cheers. Smoke if you got him. Later, Gator. The cigar box, seven hundred three Tilton Road, Northfield, New Jersey.